Now, according to reports by NEMA, this year forecast indicates a high risk of coastal flooding due to expected rise in sea level and tidal surge that may negatively impact agriculture, human settlements and transportation in Bielsa, Delta, Lagos and River State. In River State, residents of some communities affected by flood are still counting their losses while major highway damages in the state du during the 2022 flood are yet to be properly fixed. In light of this, a group connected development has trained communities in River State on the dangers of climate change, urging communities to prevail on the government to build dams that will mitigate flooding in the country. It's a project that aims to, you know, um, create awareness, understanding and influence the opinions of, you know, community members on the front, front line crisis of climate change. We can evidently see that last year, um, not just rivers, other states were particularly hit by the severe flooding that, you know, um, caused um, damages to biodiversity, you know, um, um, loss of properties, you know, people died from it, you know, the major roads were, you know, dilapidated. So um, it is a conversation that we began um, with funding from Oxfam, our partners, and um, we're trying to carry out this two-year project to ensure that community members are aware of their mandate and how they can demand for accountability and transparency, especially when we talk about climate financing, you know, and ensure that the government um, takes the necessary step to mitigate what happened last year and ensure that it doesn't repeat itself again. Participants at the workshop called on the government to build more dams in the country and to dredge the River Niger and River Benway to mitigate flooding. They said climate finance should be judiciously used for victims of climate change and not allowed to be handled by politicians. The government must be proactive to give deliverables of our money. I had billions. They need to bring that money back. We must, as this workshop said, that those money for the flooding will come out. And then the one that they budgeted for River State, the government should audit those who have read. So when the communities are bringing in the stories, the media people will help us to amplify these stories, right? So that is the need for media relations. And most time we blame the government. Why are we here? Open your dams. Ah, we are happy. I mean, it's funny because of. Uh, uh, the fact that the Cameroonian government opened their dams. Now, what stops the Nigerian government from building the dam that will serve simple purpose the citizens of this country? You know, I think the government of Nigeria needs to be proactive. For me, they are more reactionary. They wait for problems to happen, for citizens to suffer, and they create conversations around it, and that's all. You know, there's no concrete action, no concrete measure, no concrete steps taken by the government over time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.